What is up you guys and happy Tuesday. So today I'm finally going to be answering all of them questions that you guys have left me in the comment section. I did try to go through it rather thoroughly because there were a lot of questions that were almost the same. So I figure even if I don't answer your particular question the way you left it in the comment section, you'll still get your answer. So let's just jump right into the video because we got a lot of questions to get through you guys. So the first question is, when is your family having a great big old get together where you give each other gifts? Them videos always make me cry tears of joy. Actually, we were just discussing the Christmas party this Sunday. And actually, my mom and my auntie were talking about it on Saturday. And then auntie and I ended up talking about it on Sunday. Because I'm like, okay, so auntie, when are we having our Christmas raffle? And her and my mom said that they're either going to have it in June or July. But I think the way it may be looking is more toward July, August. Because you guys know that my mom has to have surgery in June. We're not for sure when in June and how long her recovery process is going to be. And we really want her to be a part of it as well. So we are definitely pretty much waiting on her. But it's going to be a Saturday event. I do know that. We're going to have a big spread of food. And then we're going to do what we do, y'all, during that holiday time. And I think when we do this gathering, you guys will know that it's our Christmas gift exchange because I'm probably going to title the video like Christmas in July or Christmas in August. So that way you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. Next question, how is Bella adjusting to being back at home and how the kids adjusting without being with Bella? I'm not for sure how the kids are adjusting with not having Bella around because I don't talk to them and Bella is doing just fine. It's almost like she never left. She remembers where her room is, her favorite chair. She loves her favorite spot on the couch. She rips and runs through the house like a maniac. Y'all done seen her. But she hasn't missed a beat. She's happy to be home. I can tell she's happy. And she's just the same Bella as she always has been. Next question. Are you and Cheek Cheek's friends or did the breakup end all communication? I would hope that we are still friends, but we do not talk. Was it any problems with you and your cousin over Bella? I think so. I mean, just based off of how everything had went down, it, it didn't go down like I would expected it to go down in picking her up. But, I mean, it was no beef or nothing like that, but it's just, it is what it is. How did you and your cousin resolve the conflict over Bella? She gave her back. How do you feel about dating in the future? Are you open to it or just enjoying your singleness? I definitely want to date, but not to be somebody's long-term girlfriend. Definitely not that. If I date someone, I'm dating that person with the intent to marry them. And they know pretty much getting involved with me, that is something that I put out there. So if that's not what you want, don't get involved with me. So I think there was a misunderstanding or some type of miscommunication in my last relationship, but 
hey, I guess I'm going to have to be a little bit more clear when the next man walk into my life. About men in your life, do you date, get involved with men only of your ethnicity, or are you open to others? With age difference compared to your age, would you seriously consider in a mate? Do you find older, younger men more attractive and or compatible, compatible to your lifestyle? Would you seriously date a man who has custody of his children? Have you tried online dating? If you could design the perfect scenario to meet your Mr. Forever, what would that look like? Okay. So this was a lot of questions and a question. <laughs> Do you date or get involved with men only of your ethnicity? I wouldn't say that it would have to be a black man because I like them all. I have never discriminated. Like if I meshed with somebody and we were vibing well, and if we wanted to take it to the next level, I would. I wouldn't not mess with somebody just because they weren't my skin tone because I, I see people, I don't see color. And I have dated people older than me. And when I say older than me, like they could be my parents' friend, like six years younger than my parents, although I didn't know that, but I have definitely dated a man that was in my parents' age range. I have dated men older than me. My last relationship, this guy was older than me. I've dated guys younger than me. I don't know if I've ever dated anybody my age because I've always, it's so funny because I've always gravitated towards older men and older men have always gravitated towards me for some strange reason. Would you seriously date a man who has custody of his children? I don't know because I don't like drama and I just always assume that depending on the kid's age, there could be baby mama drama and to be totally honest i'm not against dating someone who has kids but to be truthful i would much prefer a man that didn't have an already made family i want to create my own family and it just seemed like it's just a lot of work when there's other people involved in your relationship because what if the kids don't like you then you got to deal with that and i just i don't want to deal with that i love kids and i would hate to be with a man and their kids didn't like me and just based off of because maybe they felt like their daddy should be with their mom and so they just giving me a hard time for no reason And if I could design the perfect scenario to meet my Mr. Forever, what would that look like? Plain and simple, easy. It could be at the Walmart. It could be at a restaurant. And maybe he caught my attention when I came in and sat down and he just made his way over and spoke. And something evolved from that. It doesn't have to be much with me. I just need you to be real with me. How would you deal with a coworker who does not like you, but you love your job and don't want to quit and you have to deal with that coworker that doesn't like me? By the way, I can tell they don't like me with observable rude behavior. Hmm. Wow. First of all, I want to say that I'm sorry that you're going through what you're going through at work because that kind of sucks to love a job and have to go to work and deal with some employee that has to be bringing their personal issues to work and taking them out on you because maybe somebody at home is doing it to them. What you need to do is 
you need to go to your supervisor and let your supervisor know what's going on because that should not even be tolerated in a workplace whatsoever at all period if another employee has a problem with another employee the best thing to do is to sit both of these employees down and find out what the problem is and come to a healthy resolution for both sides so that way this doesn't continue to happen and moving forward if it does happen then that employee needs to be reprimanded i would definitely take that to your supervisor because that is uncalled for and you shouldn't have to put up with that okay What was it like seeing Baby Cheeks again when y'all had met up to get his things back? How did he act towards you? When I first saw him, I was kind of nervous. I knew initially what it was going to be when he came to my house. But I just didn't know that the process was going to take about three hours. And I think the reason why we talked for three hours is because he was trying to break it to me as easy as he could. And I was crazy about him. He probably thought I was about to be boohoo crying and begging him and jumping all over him saying, don't leave me, baby, don't leave me. But I wasn't. I think it was time for me to just completely let it go. I had already withdrew myself from the relationship two months prior. That's why I had his things packed away. I was tired of looking at them around the house. That was hurting me even more because here it is. I have this man, but I don't feel like we're together. And so when I saw him, I thought it was going to be a little bit more awkward than it was, but... Thankfully, I held myself together and I was cool and I got through the whole process just fine. He left and I finished working on the video. Hi, Shada. I left you these questions before so they may look familiar. Thankfully, you love, the, you love my comments so I was able to find my question. Nonetheless, I've always wondered these three things. So here are my questions. Question number one. You've mentioned in the past videos that you at one point lost your ability to smell and taste. So I'm wondering what exactly happened in order for you to have lost two of your senses. Honestly, I don't know. I just woke up one day and this was I want to say 11 to 12 years now that I have been without my sense of smell and taste and it kind of gradually went what went first though was my sense of taste and then I could tell that my sense of smell was gone because I couldn't smell my perfume anymore but I could smell stuff that stunk really bad but then after a while I couldn't even smell that either You've also mentioned several times that you love McDonald's sweet tea and that you also love wearing Bath & Body Works warm vanilla body spray because these were two things that you remembered enjoying before you lost your smell and taste senses. Yes, absolutely. I don't wear any perfume at all other than vanilla body spray because I remember what that smelled like on me and I don't want to wear a perfume that I've never had before because I don't know what that would smell smell like on me so I just stick to what I know or what I remember so lastly question number three have you noticed any changes over the years such as being able to smell certain things or taste certain things I've been a subscriber of yours for about seven years and I've always seemed to forget to ask you the above questions lol hopefully this wasn't too personal fam member from the bay area <laughs> hey from the bay bay um when I started taking black seed oil, after like three weeks, it was either two or three weeks of taking the black seed oil, I started to get my sense of smell and taste back. But it came sporadically, not like it was staying, but all of a sudden, I started smelling stuff out of the blue. And it was more than what I was used to because like sometimes it would take like maybe a year or two and then I might randomly smell something but it was crazy how 
I was just smelling stuff a lot and it was just this one scent in particular in my house and I kept smelling like is this what my house smell like and it, it smelled really good but I'm like man I'm smelling this like almost every single day and so it was with the black seed oil is when I actually started to smell more Hey BFF, how is your biological dad doing? I remember from your past vlogs he would come come to town to visit you. He's doing good. He actually calls me almost every other day just to check on me to see how I'm doing and how I'm getting around and how's my mom doing. But he's doing good, him and his wife. He's not he's not um out in these streets because of this pandemic. That's pretty much it. He say the same thing every time he call me. Hi, Miss Sweet. Did you go through a deep depression when you and your ex separated? If you did, how did you handle it? Thanks, sis, and God bless. I won't say I went through a deep depression, but my heart is definitely broken. Y'all know that I used to say that I'm going to marry Cheek Cheeks, and I really thought that that was what was going to happen for me. I was dating this man with the intent that we we going we going down this aisle together. And when that that didn't happen and we broke up, yes, I was I was torn apart, but I won't say that I was in a deep depression, but I definitely was in a dark place for a minute. But it took a lot of praying and talking to God and just asking God to help me out in, in the next time I get in a relationship to just bring that person that really loves me and understands me and wants to be with me for me and accepts me for who I am and, and supports me, you know, I'm just tired of having to get my heart broken. It seems like every relationship I've been in, my heart has been broken. I haven't been the heartbreaker. They've been breaking my heart. So I just want to find that one person that he won't break my heart and that he will love me and that I can love him and we can have each other's back. It says, hello Tweet, are you the only child? No. I have one sister and four brothers. Yep. I'm a fellow Akronite. What high school do you hail from? I'm a fellow Griffin, BHS, all day, every day. 330, baby. How are your parents doing and do you mind leaving your recipes in the description box? All of your meals look so yummy. Both of my parents are doing great. Thank you so much for asking and I definitely will start leaving recipes in the description or I'll put them on like a little spread before the video starts. So just in case you guys want like a previous video where I made that chicken alfredo because I know a lot of you guys were talking about that one. I normally don't feel like you guys will want those recipes because I'm just cooking dinner at the end of the day. But the one recipe on my next vlog, I will put it in that video so that you guys can get that one and then maybe before I do another vlog if I already know what I'm gonna cook I'll let you guys know what it is and if you guys want the recipe then I'll leave it for you are you going to do more hair tutorials yes I hope to start doing more hair tutorials in the future I just can't tell you exactly when because the people that I use sometimes our schedules don't go together or they may have something to do or I might have something to do so then I can't do the hair tutorial but I'm definitely wanting to do more hair tutorials on my channel are you still thinking of having a baby what is your timeline I definitely still want to be a mommy but I really don't have baby fever unless I'm in a relationship. 
And now that I'm not in a relationship, it's not something that I'm thinking about. How's mama? I hope she's doing well. Mama's doing well. She's doing so much better. Um, she had a little off day yesterday, but for the most part, she's doing so much better. I don't have to worry about her as much anymore. Are you having a hard time rebonding with Bella since she was gone for so long? And is she home to stay for the duration of her life this time around? No, I actually didn't have a hard time rebonding with Bella at all. She knows I'm her mama. And yes, yeah, she is here for the duration of her life. Hey, Miss Tweet, happy Tuesday. What is your favorite pastime and where do you like to go on vacation when you have time to go? Thank you. My favorite pastime would be actually reading. I love to read. And where do I like to go on vacation? I don't really vacation a lot, so I can't say where I like to go. I know that I love water, so a cruise or a resort of some sort that has a nice body of water around it would be cool with me. Next question is, how is mom doing? How did you end up back with Bella? It seemed that you decided to stay keeping the peace in your family. So I'm curious if that video explaining the why helped to start the conversation on her coming back home. It was definitely the video that brought her back home. I didn't even know that my cousin watched my YouTube videos and I'm still not even for sure if she did or if somebody else watched it and told her, but that is definitely what happened. The video was seen and she reached out to me. If not too personal, what type of work do you do? I'm in banking. What did you do to celebrate your birthday in April? This year, my birthday was very quiet. I made no plans and normally for my birthday, I always make plans to do something. And this year with everything that was going on with my mom and her not being in a good place, I was not even thinking about my birthday. I was more so worried about my mom. I did have a little me time on my birthday where I went and got myself a pedicure and my nails done. I spent that day with my mother. Honestly, I did. That was all I wanted to do. I didn't realize that I felt like I was in a, in a position where I could have lost my mom. And not only that, I mean, y'all remember just like the month before, I almost lost my dad. And so I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking like, I don't got to do nothing for my birthday except for sit right here with my mom and watch TV. And that's a good day for me because she's still here. How long have you been doing hair? Also, wish I lived close to you so you could do my hair. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I sure would do your hair if you live close by. I have been actually doing my own hair since I was 10 years old. But this took a lot of practice for me to get to where I am today and I still feel like even now I still need practice. Hi Shauna, do you have children? You seem like a very nurturing person and very focused. If you do have children, they must be very driven and focused. No, I do not have any children at the moment and I'm sure if I did have kids, they probably would be because I don't ever stop. And I just don't honestly feel like if I bought a life into this world, I know <laughs> they would probably be just like me. Are you still taking the black seed oil? Yes, I am. And actually, I have stopped taking the black seed oil because just like medicine, it started to feel like it wasn't having that same effect that it was having in the very beginning when I was taking it. So I stopped taking it and then I started taking it again. Hi, I see you like to cook. Can you do more cooking with your added recipes? I can. I mean, if you guys just want to see like a cooking video where I prepare a meal instead of 
doing like a vlog and then just adding the the meal in there and speeding it up i could definitely do like a meal you guys let me know what kind of meals you might want to see in the comment section have you ever been to nyc do you want to revisit i live there now and love it i have been to new york one time when i was 16 and it was because i had to perform i used to dance when i was younger and i was in a dance group and we had to dance in new york and i was surprised that my mom she actually let me go without even giving me a hard time i definitely want to go back to new york to visit What are some self-care things that you do to help combat, manage stress and anxiety? Well, for one, I have to keep my hair done because if I don't, that's going to be anxiety enough. Just looking at my head, looking toe up every day. So keeping my hair done is one thing. I love to read. Like I said before, I love to write. I love to turn on my gospel music especially when the sun's starting to go down and I have like this one light in my dining room. I like to cut that on and I basically, I walk around the house and I just, I meditate and I talk to the Lord and just, it's a heart to heart conversation. Like I'm just in tune with the Lord and we just going over my life and what I want to see in my life and just praying for other people. But I just, that is the one thing that I feel like I do more than anything is turn on my gospel music and I just kind of get my praise on. How is your stepdad doing? Because I remember a few months ago he was sick. Yes, he was. And he is doing so much better, you guys. Total 180, like nothing ever happened. How are you doing with your depression? Did you ever see treatment and medication? You seem so happy now. One thing I really feel like I'm not going to do, and although I said before that if I needed to go, on, go back on medication, I would, but I don't want to go back on medication. I really just want to keep fighting it. My depression is getting a lot better. I had triggers as to why I was going through a lot of the things that I was going through. And when you can remove the negativity out of your life that is triggering you, it puts you in a better place. And I like a lot of negativity had to be removed out of my life for me to be back in a happy place to where I wasn't battling. Because, of course, I have some battles, but they're not as bad as I know that they can get. Hi, I'm new to your channel. I have two questions. Are you a hairdresser? I'm wondering because I see so many pretty and different hair, hairstyles on your thumbnails. How has your YouTube experience been overall and including locally, like with people who recognize you and with coworkers, family, and friends? No, I'm not a hairdresser. My YouTube experience, it has had its ups and downs, if I can be honest. It's not the locals that I'm worried about. It's those that's coming from out of town that's coming over here that I'm worried about. I've had some situations where I've had people pretend to be people that they are not and come to my house on more than one occasion. And I believe I've had other people come to my house and try to cause harm to my dog by throwing razor blades in the yard. I remember I had made a video about it too where I was just picking up razor blades in the yard. It's like, where do these come from? Like somebody literally like threw these razor blades in my yard. By the time I got done picking up all the ones that I could find, it was 10 to 11 razor blades. So I've had some crazy stuff go down. When it comes to coworkers, I've had some coworkers 
say that they saw my YouTube videos, but I would play dumb like that might not be me who you think you saw. <laughs> but I have played dumb like, oh yeah, my family and my friends, they love what I do. They respect what I do. They even get some attention sometimes when they go out to the stores. Uh, they get recognized by some people. Uh, Dunk has told me just recently, she said, yeah, she said, I get recognized all the time. And she said, people will ask me, hey, haven't you been on Miss Tweet's channel or whatever? So they know because I tell them beforehand, like, okay, there's a possibility that somebody may see you out and say that they saw you on my channel. If that bothers you, I won't have you on my channel. But they honestly, they do not care. Everybody is very supportive. I hope I answered that the way you needed me to answer it. Glad to see Bella. How's your mom? How do you handle cabin fever during this pandemic? The way I handle cabin fever is I will literally get in the car after so many days of being in this house and take a drive or go to Walmart or some store just to get out of here or even go to a friend's house. Y'all seen, I just turned my garage into my skating rink. It gets real around here. So I try to keep my sanity by trying to figure it out. Shauna, love your cooking on, Shauna, love your cooking on your videos. Do you work from home now? Are you taking the vaccine? I hope not. Thank you. And I do work from home. I've been working from home now for about 13 months. I'm not going to be taking the vaccine anytime soon. After watching my mom go through what she went through and then having to deal with the issues that my dad had, I have pretty much used up all of my PTO time. And the summer is not even here yet. If I take that vaccine and I get sick, that's not going to be good for me. So just looking at it in that sense that I just really honestly, I can't afford to be off if I get sick. That would be one of the reasons why I'm not taking it. The other reason is because I'm just, I'm still on the fence and I just don't want to take it unless I'm forced to take it. And even then I might put up a fight. Did you and Dunk's friendship pick up where y'all left off or is y'all in the repair stage? Actually, nope. We two peas in the pot. When we made up, it was like it never happened. And me and Dunk, we gonna always do what we do. And that's act a fool when we see each other. We have the best time when we are together because we can be our genuine selves. <laughs> And I don't attend church because of trust reasons, but can't remember the reason why you don't attend church service. And is it also because of trust reasons? You guys know that I went to a cult church and that was half of my dang on life. Actually, the pastor of the church, Reverend Ernest Ainsley, he just passed away this Thursday. They had announced it on the news that he passed away. God rest his soul. I ain't got nothing bad to say about the man. I would never speak nothing bad about any deceased person. But that was the church that I went to. I had a lot of hurt feelings after I left out of that church because of some things that were said to me. And I just knew that I would never go to a big mega church again. Because I feel like they can get messy and a lot of things are swept under the rug. I do still go to church. It's just not physically walking into a church, but I do stream a church. I am a member of a church that I pay my tithes to. Every time I get paid or whenever money comes in, I pay my tithes to. And that's Transformation Church. Y'all know I'm Transformation Nation. That's based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Pastor Michael Todd. Woo woo. And then, hello, new subby. Are you married? Do you have children? Why was Bella at your cousin's? What state do you live in? How many siblings do you have? And what type of work do you do for a living? Some of these questions I've already answered. So I'll answer the ones that 
I didn't already answer. Are you married? No. Why was Bella at your cousin's house? I think I answered that one too. Yep. Okay. Next question. Miss Tweed, I admire your authenticity. No, for real. In your video, you were trying to get viewers to know you weren't the YouTuber selling instant edges. Has the instant edges conflict been resolved between you and her? I hope it has been resolved. They have released my video back to me because they found no proof or evidence of what she was claiming. And I haven't heard anything else, so I'm hoping everything has been resolved because on my end, it was not never really a problem. Shauna, do you live in Akron, Ohio? Yes, I do. And that is going to be it for the questions, you guys. We made it through all of these questions. And if you guys have any comments, you know to leave them for me down below. And as always, I will see y'all on another video real soon. Bye, fam. Take care, and I love you guys.